NASCAR Grand National Stock Cars and Drivers converged at Southern California's Riverside International Raceway for the running of the Falstaff 400. The fastest 40 qualifiers will run Riverside's 2.62 mile, eight turn road course for 153 laps or a total of 400.86 miles. 40 cars begin the parade lap. Paul Doherty in car number 15 pulled out with zero oil pressure at the end of the first parade lap, which left 39 cars to receive the green flag. Bobby Allison was the first car to spin out, but he quickly got his car back onto the track and continued. Richard Petty in car number 43 quickly jumped into the lead with Bobby Isaacs in car number 71 in hot pursuit. Petty drove the first lap at over 105.5 miles per hour. At the end of six laps, Petty is leading the field by six seconds. Dick Bound in the 0-2 car tries the dirt course in the S's. Dr. Don Tarr in number 37 travels sideways through turn two and brings out the yellow. Scotty Kane in car number 45 cuts a dusty dido in turn number eight. Petty, who's been leading all the way, is slowed down by traffic as he begins to lap some of the slower cars. This allows Bobby Allison, who's been running third, to catch up. Many others also try to step up the pace, but turn six proves to be too much. Traffic is like the freeway on the way home. The yellow is out again. Petty decides to take advantage of the caution flag and pits for tires and fuel. Allison also makes his pit stop. Petty is out of the pits in 30.9 seconds, and Allison is quickly in pursuit with a 30 second flat pit stop. The green flag is out, and Petty's lead over Allison is only three seconds. Petty is driving full bore to maintain his lead in the final stages of the race. Allison in number 22 does not back off in his hot pursuit. Don Knoll in number 88 gets off the course in turn six. Richard Petty hangs on to the lead, takes the checkered flag, and wins the Falstaff 400 and a purse of $14,000.